Welcome to Simulator Adventures and welcome to Euro Truck Simulator 2 Convoy. This is the vanilla SCS software made multiplayer um, update for the game. It's just come out recently and me and Waz Cool from Simulated Heaven are going to be trying it out. So here we are, first time in. Yay! Whoa, the, camera's the camera's really sensitive. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. I haven't played this game for a very long time. Me too. And so yeah, this is we've we've got the same man truck. The, is it the TGX? Yours oh. is a bit bigger than mine. Oh really? Is it the same? Wow, that's a coincidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I want to try the new DAF truck. I don't know if you've seen. It's got um, digital mirrors. Right. So that's pretty cool. But I think you, um, trucks in this game are like uh, the the level that you can access them is based on the engine size. And because it's like a new truck, it's got a massive engine, so you can't get it until level fifteen. Ah, right. um, so I've got a, I've, I'm only at rank I don't know what am I at rank 7 but anyway let's go I'm going to go to the job market and let's see how this works so I've got the convoy browser yep um, so there's a view and take same job okay so if I if I just take a job yep uh, I'm going to do it by price per distance oh do, do you want to take a train a 61 ton train <laughs> Nah, too, uh, too heavy, right? That sounds a bit ambitious for the first job. Maybe, uh, you, uh, maybe something simple for the first job. Okay, <laughs> that's, that's pretty long. Let's go to Keel, forklifts to Keel. Sounds good to me. Right, and then if I go to the Convoy browser, I'm hoping now... Oops, that's the wrong button. Look, I'm hoping I can give you my job. I'm hoping no. to. No. It says no job info. So maybe if you just follow me. Yeah. Follow me. Yeah. No worries. We've got a short trip out the city. So I've got my wheel out. You're using a um, steam controller, right? I am. How's that working? I find it okay. I mean, obviously it's not as good as a steering wheel. But I mean, when you get used to it, it's actually not too bad. Right. Now they have updated this game quite a lot, so we're actually on an updated part of the map, this Germany region. Oh, nice. It's new-ish, like a year old maybe. So I've completely redone it. Wow, there is a lot of traffic today. Yeah, so that, that's one of the major benefits of the vanilla, right, over the multiplayer mod. Yeah. Even though it's like a, an MMO, the mod is an MMO, you don't have traffic. Right. Um, and it's also really difficult to, like, set up all the different jobs and stuff, so just wait for you. There you are, I'm quite close behind. Yeah, I'm alright, I'm, I'm yeah. following. We're going left, are we? I tell you yeah. what, I tell you what my immediate thought is. As you know, I've been spending a lot of time recently in, in Firm Bus Simulator and Bus, the bus. <laughs> oh. oh! And Tourist Bus Simulator and seeing like the graphics in this what are you going? It's a red light. Yeah, I, I was over the line. I ah, uh, okay. Also, I want I want to pick. So it's just left and then on the right here. I want to pick up the job so at least we know how okay. to like sync up our. You know, anyway, yeah. you were saying sorry. What was I saying? Yeah. So basically, I like immediately I feel that the graphics in this are way better than those games, and the whole experience is so much smoother. The interior of the truck is way better than the interior on on the buses. So, you know, it, it kind of hits home that they still have a long way to go, right? If they want to be a serious simulator game. Right. The, the bus ones, I mean, like the bus simulators by that, that company. TML Studios, in fact, whatever they're called. Yeah, yeah. So you said you went right. Oh yeah, I yep. can see your thing, your name. There's roadworks and everything. Nah. Okay, so I'll just turn the sound up a bit because it's a bit, a bit quiet. I think sometimes these the sound options are a little bit tricky in this game because we just we both had the same problem with the the music, right? Yeah. The music volume is not the music volume. It's probably radio or something. But uh, there's UI music and just music as an option. It's really weird. So is um, it, it going to work that, that if I take the same job as you or something? Is that how it's going to work? I have to give you the job, I think. Or right. you have to take my job. So <laughs> now if I go... I don't know where I am. I don't know. 
Right, so, okay, 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 okay. What you need to do is press escape. Yeah. And you see at the top of the screen it says session Jack and Matt 43. Hang on. Please stop to access the screen. Yay. Yeah, I see that. If you click that. Oh, yeah. And you see on me it says talk. If you click on me, it says view and take same job. Is that an option when you click on me? Yep. And then, okay, I, yeah, yeah. then I have the option of taking that job. Yep. So I've just so I, taken the job. I'm now in a loading screen. I mean, that's not perfect. You actually have to take a job before it recognises that we could, you know, have the same thing. But yeah, it does mean we can have the same Ooh. thing. So I suppose it is early, isn't it? It is early, early doors yeah. for this, the multiplayer or the official one, I should say. Um, where's my stuff? Well, you've probably got to go to the, the front of the front of house right again. No, I can see it. It's behind me, that's why I couldn't see it before. Oh, I've gone the wrong way. Here we go. I'm having a look at your... Oh, oh. Nice. So it seems to be pretty smooth. You're, like, moving pretty smoothly. Yeah, um, that's good. Because we are, like, halfway across the world, literally. Yeah, you've got 200 ping, but okay. it's not that bad. We've had worse in other games. We have. Okay. Now for me, it looks like you're picking up a bunch of pallets, but... Really? Yeah. That's weird. Or wood. Oops. Concentrate. I reckon it'll just spawn in for me in a second. There you go. Yep. You just spawned in for me. Nice. Okay, so... Now, I assume you're at the front, are you? At the yep, front I'm door at the... thing. Yep. Yep. Can I go this way? I can't really see. Is there another way out down here? No, there's one way out. Oh, nice. Uh, this will be fun then. <laughs> oh, I just accidentally went in the map. Here we go. Exterior. Oh, you, you've got a bit of a. You've got a bit of a. It'll be alright, it'll be alright. Yeah. Oh, famous last words going the wrong way to start with. That's, that's great, isn't it, really? Get that game volume up a bit more. Okay. We should be good. We should be good. Okay. So, first impressions, let's go. Yeah. Go left. And it'll get us on the same route. Okay, are you already out of the door already? Yep. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah, I can see you now. Very dark. Yeah, it is actually. I need to put my. Uh, uh, there you go. Oh my! My lights are rubbish. Hold on. Let me stop. I can turn on the additional lights I've added. Adjust lights. Front auxiliary. There you go. Oh yeah, and we're supposed to be driving on the right hand side of the road, right? I did that earlier. I forgot. I thought I was in England or something. Yeah. <laughs> I only realised when I saw like... you on the right hand side. I'm like, oh yeah, we're in Europe, man. But well, it's especially difficult in this game, right, because we've actually got the UK in the game. Right, yeah. Now, I don't know if it's me, but compared to the last time I played, yeah. it seems a lot more optimised. That's what I, yeah, well, that's what I was saying earlier. Like, it just seems so smooth, right? And the graphics yeah. seem really good and really smooth. So that's why I was saying earlier, like after spending quite a lot of time recently in that firm bus simulator and tourist bus simulator, they're okay, but when you compare with this, yeah. they still have a long way to go, man. You see, I'm at max graphics, 1440p, 125% yep. scaling, recording, and I'm getting over 100 FPS. Yep, so, you know, well, I mean, to be fair, they have had a long time a long yeah. time, right? Oh, there's a policeman coming. They have had a long time to um, sort out their stuff, haven't they? So, Oops. I'm wondering what the controls are for the, um, the 
CB radio because I know that there's one for that but we're using Discord but uh, if you haven't got that or don't want to use that and want to be a bit more realistic you can use a CB radio in this yeah so um, I suppose honest, that would be realistic novelty. wouldn't it yeah I mean, but if you're novelty, really well but there are those there are those kind of people that literally they want to play a game like this and they want to play it exactly like a real a real trucker right like down to the yeah. CB radio everything so we got 260 kilometers to go here we go okay I think you're going a bit faster than me but it's so dark <laughs> it's, it's really dark which is a I'm good thing go slow. realism and all that you know yeah definitely want realism I'm going at 60 kph to wait for you. Okay. Which feels really slow, but... Yeah, I should be able to come up behind you now, so you should be able to go there at you normal are. speed, right. yeah. Yeah, the lighting is much better. Like the the actual lights of the cars when they're indicating, kind yeah. of like flash, sort of like I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. It's like the um, the lights kind of come on and off slowly. Yeah, so it's like ambient. My foot's welded to the floor. It's not really. Yeah, it's these low-level trucks. I mean, if we'd gone for that 61-ton train, we'd have been able to move, really. <laughs> Pretty much. It's right, okay, though. It's a convoy, eight. right? It's a convoy. To get the right buttons. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I haven't... I haven't set my speed cruise control adjustment thing. Yeah. I need to, I need to set that button. How are you for petrol, oh, by the way? Oh, full. I, I only just bought this truck. Look out, there's a car there. Yeah, when you buy a truck, it's all full, so... Yeah. You see, what I would like if you had, like, oil and stuff, or the, the maintenance was a bit more intricate. Yeah. Because you, all that happens is that, you're like, every kilometre is, like, a euro's worth of maintenance to your truck or whatever it is. Yeah. So, um... Not not very realistic, really. No. Yeah, I mean, surely over time they'll start adding more and more details, you would hope, wouldn't you? Because yeah. otherwise they're going to start of, they're gonna start running out of features, you know, at some point, aren't they? So they're going to have to add more detail, I would imagine. Well, they made quite a weird statement a few years ago where they said, we've got 40 years' worth of ideas or something like that. Oh, no, what's that GTA? I don't know. But what some developer said, we've got 40 years' worth of ideas. Yeah. And it's like, how do you even calculate that? <laughs> <laughs> they just had a lot of ideas, really a lot of yeah, ideas. Yeah, that's, that's what they're saying. Yeah. But I, I think in terms of Euro Truck, the fans will always want more, and they will always come up with ideas. Yeah. I suppose, um, though, they had it fairly, fairly, fairly easy with the model that they have, have gone for. Oh, it's a policeman again. And I think we're supposed to be going in the right lane. I was going to go for an overtake. But oh, you're going to hit the policeman it. in my screen? You oh, just well, hit... No, oh, no. And then I crashed I the did. policeman. Man. I, I didn't check my mirror. I Man, <laughs> you just caused a massive accident. You don't even know. Oh, you, that's hilarious. You pulled into the policeman who then crashed. <laughs> and then I then crashed into, into the policeman. And I'm now I slightly didn't really damaged. Thank you so much. Oh no. That was a great start. We are pro <laughs> truck drivers. I, I just didn't check the mirrors. I don't know. <laughs> it's okay. This is very quickly turned into the kind of video that you will see often on, on my channel. Maybe not your <laughs> channel so much, but you know. Well, I, I, city car driving, I get so bored after about five minutes. I just like, I'm driving at 100 kph for a city centre. And. I don't know how to force myself to stop driving like such a maniac, but it's just more fun, right? Especially when you've got a car with a bit of power, right? Yeah, yeah. Totally. 
Well, everyone likes to break the rules from time to time, right? Yeah, and, and it's a game, so, you know, Yeah. you can't really complain. Look, there's you in a tourist bus or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, keeping in the lane, so... <laughs> Trying my best. <laughs> oh, man. <coughs> Heel. What do you think? Should we try and head into Scandinavia or do you want to head over to the uh, Russia map? Because I have not really been in the Russia map at all. Um, right. I don't even know if I own the Russia, app, the Russia map. Well, when we were talking the other day, you said the only thing you didn't have was Iberia. That's what I thought. And I'm but then I'm I pretty saw... sure when I hovered over the, the DLC, it, it looked like you had it. No, no, no. They're, they're adding Heart of Russia, which is different. Ah, I see. Is, that's uh, why I got unreleased. confused. Yeah. It's unreleased. Oh, that's why then. And I've been keeping up with all the the American truck DLC as well. Mm-hmm. But not really buying it. And I'm not really sorry. I mean, buying it, but not really playing it. Right. So I, w I want to support the developer, but... I play this game and I lose interest, so I'm hoping that convoy mode will reignite my interest. And I think, so far, with all the upgrades they've made to the game and how this is playing, yeah. not bad. I could see myself getting into this, because there's a few friends that have really got into the game thanks to convoy mode. Yeah. And I think it kind of shows that multiplayer can add so much to a game like this. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I think it, it really does make it a lot more interesting. Oh, someone just crashed yeah. up my head. <laughs> oh, Jesus. This is definitely turning into one of my <laughs> traditional videos. The bus so, totally rammed into someone. What's going on? I, I don't remember AI crashing that much in this game. No, I don't either. No, I guess in a way that's realistic, right? Well, that depends where you are in the world. <laughs> like one in a million, maybe, but... That was like a serious crash as well. The bus like crashed into that guy into the wall. Like yep. he probably not survived that. No. Well, this has been a very eventful first attempt at a uh, a delivery. But yeah, maybe it's because the whole online thing, the official one, is new. And maybe when mm. you play online, it somehow affects the pathing of the AI. You know, because we are basically playing at a high ping, right? Or fairly high ping. So right. maybe what happens is it's something about the, uh, you know, the pathing is affected by the high ping, maybe? Because I don't think I've ever seen them crash like that. Well, I, I feel like the game world is running off me, right? Probably. This is a persistent game road. This is my game world. Yeah. Um... So all of like the rain probability and because I guess the weather is synced, right? Yeah. It's not. You see, the weather isn't synced. I don't think on. On my screen, it's raining like crazy right now. Ah, so I, I was wrong. Then. Only joking. <laughs> oh, okay, no, okay, nice. But yeah, I think there's um, sync problems because have you ever noticed in this game when you go into a city, time goes much slower? Uh, not really. And then on the motorways, it's like every two seconds is a minute or whatever. Yeah. Well, but I, so, I would imagine that yeah. that is something that they've done it on purpose, right? Maybe to like the balance. shorten the, yeah. Because you spend more time in a city than like per kilometre than you spend. Now all the cars are like halfway through, well, the wheels are halfway through the road for me on this bit of road. It's a bit weird. Yeah, and the again. The cars that were me are like glitched through the ground, but. Yeah, and again, it's, it's probably something to do with the ping. Yeah. I would imagine. So one thing I know now is that the speeding offences, the, the higher you are over the limit, the more fine you get. Like in real life. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we're nearly there, and Kiel is literally on the border of the Scandinavia map. Um, whoa, there's something on fire up here. Nice. You might want to avoid it then. But, Is it like Halloween or something? <laughs> yeah, everything's going wrong. Everything yeah, or it's like disaster. zombie apocalypse or something. I don't know. Yeah. Well, what I was saying ages ago earlier, before I was rudely 
interrupted by your crashing into a police car um, mm -hmm. is that actually I think they had it kind of easy right because the model that they were using in this game and in, in the American game is here is the, the base of the game and we're just going to add lots of DLCs right because they can basically right. there's so many countries in Europe there's so many states in America they can literally run through that's probably why they said they've got stuff for 40 years <laughs> because they can I, literally I just go through every country in Europe and every state in America there's another police car what's going on man <laughs> it's uh, coned off it means to go to left hand lane oh look out okay look at this it's no, like it's... fire fire engines and stuff and well I think that this is a bit OTT on the events on the motorway yeah, yeah, yeah. because I yeah, understand definitely. that they want a map that looks realistic so from time to time they have like roadworks and events like that but we've just gone past like two things like almost straight after one another so that's a bit OTT in it really yeah it is and the um the traffic is kind of reacting to these things quite late. Yeah. So you think they get over a bit sooner? Yeah. Right, we're coming up to a T junction or like a yeah T junction. So. And I I would imagine I would imagine on the unofficial online that's why they just got rid of the traffic because they they probably don't have the skills or the code availability for them to actually do stuff online with the traffic if you know what I mean so that's why they yeah. that's why they probably just were like get rid of all the traffic in the unofficial version oh. you just crashed careful, into the barrier yeah yeah classic and I've got to, I'm not gonna say like RIP to the mod because I think it's gonna have a life beyond this yeah but um, I think we have to give credit to them right because they made that Two, less than two years after the game release. Yeah. And it's completely a mod. Yeah. Completely unofficial. No support from the developers. No endorsement from the developers. And it had like 50,000 players at any yeah. given time or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I mean, huge. it was amazing. It was amazing. Yeah. And a lot of people really liked it. And I mean, uh, basically, they have them to thank because I'm sure there's a lot of people that they played those games way, way longer because of the fact they can actually play with their friends and in a way I bet that the, the, that the developers were kind of happy that someone else helped them right like to put the multiplayer in so soon so they could focus on other stuff and they don't need to worry about it for a while you know and it makes me wonder because we're going in here by the way um, okay. if I know that they hired pro mods uh, developers, modders, yeah. to the actual team. It makes me wonder if they hired any of the multiplayer devs. Right. For Maybe this. they did, yeah. Because they've got over 200 employees now, so really anything's possible, I think. Now, I'm pretty sure this is a no-collision zone. I, I I, don't know for sure. Okay. I, I mean, have I disappeared? Because I know I disappeared in your private region. I don't know. In your in your garage, I disappeared, right? Oh, I think yeah, I think it's okay. Uh, uh, I think I think I can actually change the settings, but only when I'm setting up the server. So, whoops. Yeah, you're gone. Oh, did you did you first? Yes, end it? I did, because you know right. I'm using a Steam got, yeah. controller and. A, <laughs> Unless you want to be here for like five minutes watching me reverse. Well, I'm still, I've still got the old G27. Yeah, nice. Sol soldering on. I mean, I, I read the reviews and people say, well, after five years it died. But maybe, maybe, maybe I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I used to have a, a Logitech thing, a G27 years ago. That was the first steering wheel that I ever had. And it works very well for a long time mm. for me but it, so, it was just half, after a while I wanted something a bit higher quality right that's why I got yeah, the exactly. Thrustmaster yeah. thing 
Okay. No, the, the force feedback is just wheels let down. But we did a we did a job. We it's did. Yay. Yeah. It's um, good apart from the crashing into police cars and driving a truck onto the side railing. Other than that, it was perfect. <laughs> and, and the and the final destination stuff that was going on at the side of the road. I mean, that was insane. Um, yeah. But I I would yeah. imagine. I mean, but I don't know about the the events on the side of the road because that must be in the map rather yeah, than anything like online so i think some of the weird things about the ai and the traffic was probably something to do with the ping in the online and it's you know obviously very early in them having online but yeah all those events at the side of the road it was way too much and if that's <laughs> always on the map i would ask myself well actually maybe it's then it makes me wonder, like, is it a dynamic thing that will somehow yeah. change? Then it's not always yeah. in the same place. So maybe it was just a, a coincidence that they had so many events in one place. This is something they've added in the last couple of years. In fact, there's a in the, if you go to the options screen and then gameplay. Yeah. There is a setting called random road events, and mine's at like a third. Ah. That might be why then. That, that's that's default. That's default. Right. Okay. Interesting. Um. Anyway, so that's our first part. Uh, part. Yay. I really enjoyed it, and I think we're going to do another, or maybe several more. Um. But let's go into Sweden next, or something like that, because I think we'll have a bit more interesting roads, maybe, to drive around. Is that the only reason um, that you want to go well, to Sweden? Are there any other reasons that you're not telling me about? Uh. Uh, no comment. No comment. <laughs> I may or may not be sponsored by the Swedish Tourist Board or something like that. I don't know. Um, yeah. But maybe we could also go into Finland because that's part of the new map which I've not really explored and it looks pretty. It's pretty like dense the amount of roads there. But yeah, for me and Simulated Heaven, our first impressions, our first look at the convoy uh, multiplayer mode. Really, really enjoyed it, and we'll see you again soon. See ya.